Hey, welcome back to part two of the Big Boy Burst Evolution Switch Strike Spin Shiffer Target Exclusive Set. So, as I was saying, if you hold it this way, the top kind of spins, but this ain't it. When it's on the bay, this whole yellow like frame design is actually supposed to spin. It's supposed to spin kind of like that, I guess. Which, uh, you know, being a has but one doesn't want really to do that great of a job. I think the car told me one's a way better. And then here is our forged disc, which has come on, focus here. Number two on there. Because if you see there is two here. One there, one there, there's only two. So that's two. On our PC or a plastic frame as I like to call it from the old thing. From the Metal Fight series. It's kind of hard to see on camera, which looking behind the camera, I can kind of see that it is hard. But it is marked with the letter G on this green frame, which stands for Galb. Or G it's sp I think they're supposed to try to say Gray, but they're like, ooh, Gray, America, people be like, ooh, that's scary. Which I think, that, man, that's cool. I mean, you put Gray on like uh, Death Scythe, which was called. What the hell was the American one called? Doom Sizer. Doom Sizer. Which, I mean, yeah, Doom Sizer is pretty cool, I guess. But Death Cipher, the Takari Toy one, like Death Cipher 2 Grave. Oh man, that's a scary combo that you don't want to go up against. Just hear that name Death Sizer 2 Grave. Or Doom Sizer 2 Grave. It's like, oh man, that was going to send you to the Grave. Send your other bay, the opponent's bay, to the grave. And by the grave, I mean, you know, burst it or stadium out or, you know, sweeper, which is like, you know, it's just not spinning, that type of deal. And also on the PC frame, there is glitter in there. We can see it actually better on this side. And, you know, the frames do, if you twist them a certain way to line the parts up. So, let's see, got it that way. Well, wow, this one actually comes off pretty easy. So, any bay that has a number on there for the force disc, you can use the PC or plastic frame on there. If it's a bay that just has a letter on the force disc, this plastic frame doesn't go on there. Which is kind of weird because if you let Meteor or Mamar, I think it was, frame that was on Ifa, Ifri, how you want to say, it, I heard it say three different ways. That bay, and was also on Escalius, I think the second version of Escalius. They had the PC frame attached to the Ford's disc, but it didn't you know, twist and come off. It was actually screwed on it, which was kind of weird. So let me try getting this bit on here. Oh, by the way, this one is a one star. For the Ford's disc. And then to put them on, you kind of have to put them on upside down, like this. So make sure the big flat side is on the bottom, and that the little hollow out piece is up there so that this piece go on. Because if you do it the other way, it's not going to go. And then give it a little twist, and you now it's on. And the driver, I guess it has like a little T on there, but it kind of looks like a little Bay Boy spinning. If you kind of look like there, like little top, like you know, the wooden tops, that's kind of what it looks like. But if you hold it another way, it kind of almost looks like a little push stator. Yeah, and this one is called trans, and then you know, you push it this way, and it kind of becomes a whole flat, I guess you could call it, which is not completely a whole flat. And then you put it this way, and it has a little bit of a tip on there to become like a sharp or a spike. Kind of the same thing that the uh, Metal Fight Series did, but I think theirs were way better when it came to, you know, as the driver pieces, so just that. And then let's bring in the other parts. So here is Fenrir, 